What is up people? Welcome to your third WX Python tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to add a status bar and also a menu to your frames or windows. So status bar is that little thing at the bottom you see and it tells you like when you're hovering over a link in Internet Explorer, it shows you what the link is. And a menu is this thing up here that says file, edit, format, and all these things drop down. So let's go ahead and uh the first thing I want to uh, show you guys how to do is create a status bar. So let's go ahead and write something called status. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. Um, what's on the left hand side of the equal sign doesn't make a difference. But what's on the right hand side you need to set it equal to self dot create C R E A T E status bar. And make sure that it has empty parameters and that's going to create your status bar right there. So aside from that, creating a status bar, I want to teach you guys how to create a menu. So look at that, you already created a status bar, halfway done with this tutorial. Creating a menu is a little bit more difficult. What you need to do first is create a bar to hold your menu. So this whole entire bar is called a menu bar. So let's go ahead and make something called menu bar and set it equal to WX dot menu m e n u bar and make sure that those are capitals or i capital the next thing you need to do is make menus this file thing is a menu and this edit thing is a menu this one this one and i'm going to go to make two so let's go ahead and put first stands for our first menu equals wx menu with empty parameters and also might as well name it second not to confuse you equals wx menu not menu menu I did that twice that was weird so now we have a menu bar and now we have two menus but those menus aren't really actually gonna show up just yet what we need to do first is append or add items to this menu so I'm only gonna be adding items to the first menu since so let's go ahead and create this we have a blank menu right here so pretty much right here so the items on this one are new window open recent files open module so let's go ahead and create one item for new window and one for open so what we would do is take our first menu so just write first put period and press append a-p-p-e-n-d and what this means is add and whenever you write a parameter in here it adds an item to your first menu so let's go ahead and the parameters this takes is the first one is wx dot new id with empty parameters and um, after that what you want it to show is the title so for example if this one said new window let's go ahead and write new window so the first parameter you tell it to make a new item the second one you name it and the third parameter is what you want on the status bar and this is why we created a status bar this is a new window and let's go ahead and create um, another one let's go ahead and just copy this save us some time work smarter not harder copy paste um, first append new ID uh, what's this open with three dots so let's go ahead and write open dot 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 and write this will open a new window it doesn't matter if I spell it wrong so what we did is created a menu bar two menus and in the first menu we added two things new window and open now I'm not gonna um, add anything to the second menu it would just be uh, showing you guys pointless stuff but let me go ahead and show you guys how to add these menus to the menu bar so we have one menu called first with two items on it and another menu called second with no items on it but they aren't attached to the menu bar yet so what we need to do is write menu bar or whatever you named your object up here and you need to put period append again whenever you're pending make sure you put a period and then you write what you want to append first and again I mean not again what you want to name it so again unlike the list items you have to name what you want to name your entire item since this one is file and the next one is edit so let's go ahead and write file 
and now this entire menu will be named file and let's go ahead and do this with a second one menu bar dot append and let's go ahead and do the second and the second one is called edit so file edit that's the name and in the file is going to be new window and open so now um, after we do all that we did we need to do one thing and this is just pretty much housekeeping but we need to do self set menu bar set menu there we go bar and we need to write menu bar in there or whatever you named this up here and what this does is set your menu bar on the screen so let's go ahead and save this hopefully I don't have any errors and if it runs we get this right here let me show you guys there we go we have a menu and here's the status bar down here we have our title of our window that was in the last tutorial again we made two menus one called file one called edit and as you see when I hover over new window it says this is a new window in the status bar and when I hover over open it says this will open a new window in the status bar so again we have two let's see if I can get this all in the same one there good enough what we did was create a menu bar and what a menu bar holds these menus file and edit we made uh, menu objects first and second which will be file and edit in the first one which was the file one we added um, the elements new window and open and we didn't add anything to the second see we didn't append anything to second and when we appended these menus to our menu bar we named the first one file right here and the second one edit and then we just stuck the menu bar on it just like that so that is your basics on how to create a menu bar with different list options in it and um, that's all for this tutorial I'm running out of time but thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next tutorial